Um, why Abyssals? Um, I I like running Abyssal stuff uh, because I think it's fantastic PVE and also it's um, it's a good complementary activity to to station trading because if you're a station trader like me, possibly you're doing it because you uh, your Eve time is very time boxed and you don't have a lot of time overall. And that applies to trading. You can do it whenever you want on your own time. And that's this, the same applies to Abyssal Space. You need some peace and quiet and 20 minutes of time. But uh, other than that, it's fantastic uh, uh, PVE content um, that doesn't take a lot of time to set up. And so um, it's, it's challenging, but it's a ton of fun. And I want to um, help more people get into it. So uh, what I'm... What I've been doing and what I'm going to be doing in the in the near future is at the end of every stream, uh, take one uh, alpha friendly fit um, and uh, and take it out there. Um, alpha friendly or beginner friendly, not always alpha friendly, but uh, you can typically find alpha versions of everything uh, out there. Um, yeah. If you're just starting out, the the cruiser abyss is the the typical abyss, but the um, the Frigate Abyss uh, is always going to give you more loot because it's going to triple the loot. And typically, if you're signature tanking, so if you're just not trying to get hit, uh, it's it's almost easier to run them in a in a Frigate a lot of times. So I don't think Cruisers are often, in the beginning, are good value for money. Um, but uh, nevertheless, uh, it's it's important to to try all the different ones because you wanna you wanna learn and your first i don't know i would say your first 50 or 60 runs all you're doing is you're learning who the enemies are you're learning what the strategies are against the different enemies and that's going to help you with regardless with any ships and what, what a cruiser does it's a little bit more forgiving uh if you get hit um oh the raffle ended sorry pick a winner draco markham are you there you won a raffle um I watch the chefs on TV and then stick a beef burger in the microwave. <laughs> um, with a 750 million capital fund, what type of trading would be best to start with? Hauling or, or reason trading or station? No, I would always start with station trading because it's a lot easier. Um, and with 750 million, um, just go to the uh, the margin finder. I have a video out on, on YouTube that is about how to pick items to trade in. And with 750 million, pick like 10, 15 items, right? And then make sure on uh, um, on uh, on Adam for Eve uh, EU, the the website I use for trading. Uh, you go to the margin finder. Hold on, I'll show you. You go to the margin finder right here. Depending on where you are, you put the forge right there, and then right here, you need to put what it says right here. The the 100 million. Uh, daily traded volume to make sure that you only get items that are big enough for you to trade in. Uh, and then you can also say how often you want to trade it a, a day, but you don't have to. And that should spit out some some nice I items for you to trade in. Mech javelins. So I would station trade uh, and I would do so with Adam for Eve uh, margin finder. Yeah, no worries, man. Go check it out. Also make sure you join the, the Discord community so that you, uh, uh, you can ask questions. Uh, everyone's really helpful there. Um, cool. All right, we're gonna. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna fly the ship. The ship is um, uh, is a variation of that day one. So we talked about this earlier, right? There's there's day one abyssal fits in here. For example, this one right here. Um, this is a day one, um, basically tier zero, tier one uh, caracal, and this is pretty much exactly the same that I'm flying today except that the one I'm flying has upgraded to tier two on the, on the launchers, on the boosters, on the shield hardeners, and on the ballistic missile control. So, um, uh, on the ballistic control system. So, um, this is, uh, this is a, uh, an upgraded version, but, uh, uh we're going to be running a uh, tier one or tier two. Um, and the other one, uh, you should start with a tier zero. If you're just uh, going out there to try, you shouldn't die in that in a tier zero. What would you say is the minimum starting amount to trading? Um, so there's a... Um, I have a zero to plex challenge out there um, where I, I show you how to 
go to a billion within a month with with um with no starting capital basically just what you get from the career missions which is about uh 15 million per character um so if you go to my youtube channel and you go to the zeroplex playlist you can have a have a look at that um and uh so the answer is only what you get from career missions it's easy it's easy to start after a few days you should have a few a uh, 100 million or two Oh, but you put some of them in the corp fits. Oh, yeah, sure. I will. Good idea, Buster. I will do that. Um, okay. Uh, I think that we are still missing. Okay, we have some, some missiles in here, but we, we do need... Uh, let's say... Well, let's, we'll start with a tier one just to calm darks. Uh, but then we'll we'll take an agitated one with us just if we if we wanna if we wanna ride it right away. So agitated is tier two, calm is tier one. Um, oh, we're in here. Give me one second, and we'll we'll set this up. I didn't have time to run this before. All right, tier two is agitated, exactly, yeah. Okay, so we have some missiles on board. We have uh, we have some uh, dark filaments. Um, maybe here we'll buy, hold on. Oh, what's up, dude? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some, some repair paste. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah. Okay. Gila prices went bonkers last week. Yeah, so the Gila, the Gila went, uh, we actually made a lot of money of the Gila's. The Gila's, um, Went all the way down and came all the way back up, so. Okay, we're undocking. Um, and so, yeah, in, the, in in Cruiser Abyss, what the, uh, the problem is you only get, um, uh, you get about as much loot as a one, one tier lower Frigate Abyss uh, site, right? Um, which, uh, which is an issue. Oh, I'm actually, I'm, uh, I'm not bringing an MTU in this case. I, uh, we probably should have. Uh, an MTU helps, uh, if you, um, if you are, um, oh, I'm also not set up for drones. Okay, well, I haven't run any drone ships on this one. Oh, well. We'll see. I'll have to manually drag the drones out. Yeah, I actually do recommend running frigates uh, instead of cruisers, but if you do want to try cruisers because it's a little bit more forgiving, then um, then this is a good good fit to start with. We group these. This has a um, a target painter uh, because we're running darks, um, um, and uh, it also uh, has a, a shield booster and a shield hardener. So we're gonna see how cap stable are we. Not very. Without the we're stable without the afterburner. Okay. Well, let's see how it does in the calm. I haven't run a Caracal in forever. Oh, 
All right, Charybdis Tyrannus. So uh, it's 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 important that that he doesn't hit us uh, uh, head on. He hits like a mother. Uh, he's a battleship, um, but if we get under his guns, he won't be able to hit us anymore. So what I'm doing is I'm uh, I'm trying to spiral in. I'm not uh, I'm trying to keep transversal up here. I'm not not flying directly at him. That's really all the all, the only thing you've got to do uh, in here. Uh, at this point, I can already hit him, I think. Oh. And then we're just going to spiral in here. Yeah, we can probably do a loot here. But the problem is going to... Th these are... This is only two of them. Um, this is only two of them. Thanks, <laughs> Shikokin. Um... And so we're, we're not going to have any issues um, actually uh, looting in here. It's going to be fine. As I said, typically what you want to do is you want to bring an MTU. You want to um, you want to you want to drop a um, an MTU at the gate um, and then uh, these, send your drones. We do have drones out here, for example, here, right there. I, I wasn't even launching them. Yeah, okay. We're gonna... Um, we're gonna loot here. In Cruiser Abyss... Um, in Cruiser Abyss, you can actually... Um, uh, it's uh, it's worth it uh, looting everything. Uh, if you do have the time in, uh, in Frigate Abyss, uh, typically it's it's better to just... Um, uh, just run um, more more abyssal sites um, because the the others these other nodes are they're not tripled uh, in, in any of them and so here they're always going to be the same well, this one's actually empty just always like I can't believe CCP puts empty empty loot boxes uh, uh, in in abyssal space it's... but yeah these are I mean this is always crap right Loot, loot in uh, in these lower tier sites are, are crap, but then again, I mean, we're talking, you know, we're we're talking fits that are this this fit is thirty seven million, but yeah, right now we're that we we took him down really quickly within like a minute or two, so uh, you know it was in this case it was very easy to boot. Our DPS isn't bad. Our DPS is actually 370. 370 on a Caracal is pretty good. This is just 500,000 in loot. That's nothing. So in a in a in a tier one um, frigate site, you're gonna get uh, way more loot than in a tier one. That's why I was showing the abyssal tracker site earlier, right? You can see here. Um, you know, tier tier two, 15 million in frigates and six million in cruisers. Right. Um, Actually, we're going to go there. In this case, I am going to try to loot everything. So this this tower right here is going is shooting at my missiles. It's taking out some missiles, um, but it doesn't bother me too much. Uh, I'm not even bothering dropping down my little my little um, drones here. They're just gonna get damaged. We can see if they make a difference. Let me put them out and see how damaged they get. But immediately they get damaged, right? I'm just gonna pull them back in. It's not worth it. And these are dropping really easily, so... There's really nothing to it in this case. The 
the rapid light missile launches take forever to loot. <laughs> uh, to reload. Worst case uh, is a short range deviant tower and a drone sleeper BS on top for a Jericho. Yeah. Yeah, at least this has a lot of, uh, and, and the frigate. A lot of times, you have the the issue that your 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 DPS isn't good enough, right? For the big battleships. Yeah. I'm gonna take this guy out. The reloading is really the only problem on this. Crazy! You won the raffle, dude. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Uh, I'm running a um, an abyssal site uh, in a caracal. running a tier one abyssal site it's very very it's a very very easy chill site um just showing some introductory fits here this this fit is probably overpowered for the tier one uh, it's the it's a, a variant of the it's a tier two variant of the day one fit the, the day one community fit what do we have our range is 39 Gonna loot here and then get out but yeah the loot isn't really worth it in a tier one cruiser site the loot is terrible if you, you see here i actually need to uh heal up a little bit here i'm not used to use it using a target painter it's not something that i'm typically doing in the abyss Ooh, we have really shitty loot here I'm gonna reload i'm gonna reload pre-reload just in case you can see we're doing really well on time obviously right 12 minutes luke dragon welcome to the corp um same room right looks like the same room how, how, how are the loot the loot cans here where are they Guess there's one back there. I'm not gonna bother looting those. That's just annoying. Crazy, that's one of your tunes? Alright, dude. Welcome. So this guy's going down quickly, I think. Okay, so this was this may have been a little bit too easy <laughs> for this fit. I have nothing uh actually switch these i don't have a hot button for the for the third one <clears throat> all right and then i'm not gonna i'm not gonna loot the rest of the stuff what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run back to back or run the tier two and see how they compare yeah yeah we're gonna go for a tier two <laughs> for sure this was easy but hey you know i uh didn't want to die again on the first run. And we're just going to loot the main cache here and then uh, we're out. Oh, nothing. Okay, so that was like that was like two million in loot overall or something. So that's terrible. 
it's especially terrible and that's why especially in the beginning right i i'm not a big fan of the the entry level cruiser sites because you need to run them almost in a gila to um to uh for it to be worth it um at all um in the frigate sites there's a lot of things that are worth it in a frigate because you can just get triple loot uh and and there are some niches that you can take advantage of just by not getting hit i mean this was now 10 minutes right it was just uh easy oh nice crazy yeah man um Zero to Plexus uh, was a fun challenge. Uh, I've done it twice now. <laughs> okay, we're uh, we're not even gonna bother to. Uh, I'm just gonna re. Um, I'm gonna boost up. I'm gonna reload, and then we're gonna go right away into. Um, we're gonna go right back in into a tier two and see um, if we can hold up. But that that basically wasn't like. There wasn't any problem whatsoever. Uh, agitated tier 2? Oh, that's right. I have a timer. We'll wait this out. Bring back Captain Quarters. Is that an inside joke? I don't care. Sorry. Oh, bring... Oh, I get what you... <laughs> You want to bring back the captain quarters to the to 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 stations. I got it. I was like, who's captain quarters? Is he like somebody that's very thrifty? Is he like a like a pilot who saves his quarters or something? You see, that's that's the content that I go. <laughs> yeah, Zippo. Okay, agitated dark. This is tier two. Let's do it back to back. Just going back in. I do use these overview, that's right. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I don't need to activate it. It does it automatically for cruisers. Let's see what we got. Striking. Oh, the shocks right away. Okay. Okay, okay. So, um... These needles are going to be easy, but the Lashaks we're, we're going to have to get in uh, in closer. They're going to hurt. Oh, one starving Lashak is a problem. Actually, I'm going to have to take out that starving Lashak quickly. Yeah, shoot the neuter. We do. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna take out both of those Lashaks. They they luckily they die quickly. I mean, we have three hundred and seventy DPS, so uh, you know they're they're gonna die quickly. They can't really touch me here. Let's see here. Thanks. I was using that website you recommended. I finished my first abyssal without dying. Nice, dude. Chilavong, way to go, man. That's a that's a big step. Also, I mean. Do, like, my recommendation for Abyssal Space is just, you know, run a lot of cheap ships in the beginning to learn all the mechanics. There's some good guides out there, but you gotta, you gotta learn the mechanics. Um, you know, that's, that's the best way. Um, yeah, because, you know, even, like, I learn, I st I'm still in the learning phase for Abyss, you know, I, I'm still, there's still some cruisers or some, uh, Oh yeah, we could we could launch drones. That'd be good. Um, there are still some you know enemies that I'm that I'm misreading sometimes uh, because of lack of practice. So. Thanks, Morda. This is like back uh, back in the Gila days. Drones. I have I am I have banned myself. Um, I have banned myself from the um, from the Gila. All 
All right, tier two. Let's see if the loot is better. It's only slightly better. Playing out, pay for PvP, buying with Plex for Paladin, and lose the ship because you don't know how to fly it. Yeah. Ooh, immediately five million. I like it. So this is uh, the first. The first box was already. Uh, it was already. Uh, let's see here. I'm just gonna approach. Uh, we're gonna orbit real quick. Cause we're gonna recover some uh, some cat. We're gonna reload. Um, yeah. Um, loot uh, gets a gets a lot better. It's, it is a lucky drop, for sure. Uh, don't do don't do don't do cruiser tier twos for loot. <laughs> do them for experience. I know crazy this isn't that um isn't that rigged for sure so but the the fits i'm showing here are not for for getting rich right that's um that's clear they're they're for for getting to understanding the abyss to surviving your first few runs and once you know if you want to if you want to make real money you need to go into tier fives tier sixes that's where you're going to make the real money even tier fours can be profitable or you multi-box or whatever but i just want to make sure that people gain a little bit of confidence oh here we go we've got the um we've got the room with the with the kikimoras and the damavix Kikis need to die, yeah. Oh, yeah, tangling. You're right. You're absolutely right. Tangling first. I'm going to send my drones out there as well. And maybe not fly out of bounds. That would help. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the gate. Maybe engage the drones, and then then it's working. Now it's working. We're fine. Gotta wrap a little bit. And he's dead. And then we'll take the second Kikimura down here. Unfortunately, we have to reload. Interesting. Crazy, you won a, um, an Aeon share, which is the investment fund that we run here on stream. It's worth about 120 million. If you just want to cash it out, you can cash it out on the first of every month. Or you can just leave it there and have it uh, invested and gain, uh, gain, gain in value. I hate rapid light missile launches. Can I say that? I I I don't. Ever since I dropped the Gila and I don't uh, play the Gila anymore, I I have made it a point not to not to fly rapid lights because the the reload time is just absolutely crazy. It's just such a pain in the ass. Probably uh, orbit the the cache. And maybe focus fire. There we go. Okay, another one down. Now we're going for the Damavix. They also hurt, but they they not nearly hurt as much i just wanted to ask so how can i tell how much it's worth is there any sheet yeah uh crazy there is a um there is a channel on the discord called um e e Eve investment fund eif and in there uh, every few days i post a dashboard um and on the stream on all streams all my videos it's always you can see the ticker going through on the bottom right there eve aeon fund if you look at the ticker there, you you know how much it's worth. Oh, 
I hate rapid light missile launchers. This is taking too much time. This is very boring gameplay then. <laughs> That's why I like I like playing the Jackdaw. I've been playing the Jackdaw quite a bit um, in uh, in Abyssal Space, and I really like the fact that you can switch stances, um, like offensive, defensive, and uh, um, and movement. Um, because uh, that plays very well into what you're doing in the Abyss. Um, you need to be flexible and uh, that helps. You can zoom around. Do you have trackers uh, we can invest in, Oz Eve? <laughs> like, uh, like I'm trying to track the market. Um, not yet, like a standard index. I should do that. That's a good idea, Leela Power. I'll think about it. Maybe try to try to uh, put some uh, some indices, yeah? like a mineral index. Try to track a mineral mineral index. That's good. That's a good idea, Leela Power. I'm gonna think about that. The problem is just that um, then I have to explain to people. Uh, it gets too complex. It gets too complex. We're already at the limit, pretty much. This is taking a lot of time. We better wrap a little bit. <laughs> but I think uh, tier 2 is not a problem for this this fit, looks like. It takes a little bit of time, but it's not, not a problem. Uh, if you didn't know, by the way, there's a uh, a program out there. Um, there's some there are, there are some damage meters also out there that uh, if you want to understand what's um, what's hitting you uh, and what's hitting you for how much and that sort of stuff. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're just gonna loot and then we're gonna go to the next room. The next room is the last. We are doing okay on time in this tier two. This could possibly run a tier 3, couldn't it? What do you guys think? Why why aren't the drones hitting the cash? Odd. The drones can't hit that cash. Low chance of tier 3 in this. Yeah, I think so. Tier 2 is probably comfortable, but the limit. Another 5 million. So we, we're up to 10 million. This is starting to be good. Yeah, this is... Um, this is low DPS, you're right. Yeah, as I said, I'm, I banned myself from the Gila, so... <laughs> um, let's see here. Ah, we just have to go in there. We'll just have to go in there. Let's do this. I haven't tried Confessors yet. Okay. Firewatch is a problem. Um, okay, we're going to take out that Dissipator. Yeah. Dissipator and Firewatcher are the neuters. All right, let's take them out. No drones in there, see if they survive. Okay, one's down. Then we're also gonna take the fire watcher out, and then I need to get the warden. The warden that's uh, webbing me, he needs to die. Okay, 
Yeah, that warden is uh, needs to die quickly. Oh, it's okay. We're got not. We will not die today. We will not die today. Except we're reloading again. If that reload, if if my weapon would reload a little bit, then we'd be fine. Give me missiles again. Forty mil from a T1. Yeah, that, that's lucky though. <laughs> that is very lucky. Yeah, as soon as that warden is down, we're good. Those are gonna go down. So tier two, tier two, and this caracal fit um, is is easy. But uh, I would agree that this is probably the limit. Tier three. You might get lucky, but it's not worth it. There's other fits that can do this better, so. To learn though, this is a good fit to learn. If you wanna is if you wanna run a a forgiving fit in tier ones or tier twos, this caracal do it. That warning tone is just my capacitor. Don't, don't mind it. Yeah. Well those those new rooms are just a pain in the ass, you know? I mean, although I have to say, what was it yesterday? I got a, um, um, I hit the Marshall room and what kind of ship did I hit the Marshall room in? Maybe even a hook bill. What exactly is the difference between the tiers? More ships or also different enemy ships? It's more, it's, it's, it's mainly just more ships, computer spieler. It's more of the same. Yeah, the marshals, man, they just the marshals just gotta die quickly. These drones don't do anything, by the way. <laughs> Warrior twos. Forget it. And yeah, and the different tiers, um, you also the the bonus and the um, uh, the buff and the nerf. Uh, through the filament effect, uh, it it uh, gets worse with every tier, so the damage holes get bigger, etc., etc. Okay. We're gonna loot, and then we're gonna get out of here. Yeah, we, we lost the drone. Warrior two. For the record though, I did apply a a skin, which I never do. Okay, this is just 1 million. So we made about 11 million, 12 million overall of the tier 2. A tier 2 should be paying about 6 million, so we got we got lucky. Um <laughs> I lose drones all the time. Um, but yeah, 12 mil for a tier 2 is just lucky, yeah. You can't, you can't, you can't, uh, you know, uh, you can't expect that. Okay, we're gonna go, there's a, I think it's that one right there, right? There's, there's one station in here. Yeah, it was this one. So if you guys missed it earlier, what I'm going to do is, from all of these, uh, I'm going to collect all the loot um, I gain from uh, anything I do on stream. And I'm going to put it all in this one station and we're going to raffle it away uh, at the end of every month. So that's, um, that's uh, uh, hopefully going to be a nice pot at the end of the month. 
We already got lucky um, on Wednesday, I think. We're already docking out. Docking permission requested. Nice looking station. Docking request accepted. All right. Um, that's going to do it for today. It's late here. Will you also raffle away the ships? Uh, maybe in a different raffle. Yeah, sure. I'll raffle away the ships. Most of them aren't very expensive, but yeah. Um, thank you, Okex, for the for that cheer, man. And um, so, what are we gonna? We're going to take basically everything we just looted and see how much it's worth. That's uh, 14 million overall. 14 million is not bad. Huh? Oh no, actually this one too. Yeah, 14 million. Might be cool for new bros to get a, a tested ship in the raffle. Yeah, for sure. It's a good point. Okay, I'll stack us up to 30 million here. Uh, I'm sure we'll get uh, we'll get a lot more. Uh, I'll do at least one or two of these runs uh, every, every stream. So. Uh, 